Hi guys, this is Dr. Bupesh once again from Dr. BKM OET Institutes. Our contact number is 76967-34256. And trying to record one listening, a uh, random listening, just for you guys, is the listening part A. Normally in today's listening, you will get only three words to write. But this listening may be coming from the older times. In the old older times before 2017, people had to write the complete sentences. But after 2017-18, when OET 2.0 came in, now we are in OET 2.0. In that, we just have to fill only three words. Also, spelling mistakes should not be done. Otherwise, there will be reduction of marks. Only two kinds of spelling mistakes are allowed. One, if it is a brand name of the drug, like Panadol, Augmentin, Flamiclave, Amoxiclave, these brand name of the drugs can be wrong. But if you talk about the salt name like paracetamol, amoxicillin should not be wrong because they are the salt names. Levulonic acid cannot be wrong. So, uh, if I talk about other, ampicillin cannot be wrong. But if it is the brand name of the medication, then it can be wrong. Today, I am speaking very... Uh, kind of less loudly just because I am not in the best of my health. If by chance there is cuff, I will pause the video. Please don't mind it. But I will try to continue as much as I can with my uh, breath uh, in a single way, whatever I can carry. Again, the main rules, spelling mistakes should not be done. In listening part A, do lot of spelling practice. First rule. Second rule, you just have to write three words. But these kind of listenings are very important to prepare yourself because if you can do these kind of big listenings, then small listenings will become easy. But I don't know whether they are big or small, but as uh, you guys have told me, means my students, my current students have told me, so I'm taking as per their words. But again, we will follow the same rules. We will try to understand the story in front first 30 to 60 seconds. Means before playing the listening, they give you 30 to 60 seconds. So in 30 to 60 seconds, I would like to know about the patient. So my patient is brain Harris, 42. There is hypergranulation that has happened from the previous wound. What happened? Had a traumatic injury, left posterior last year. There was a boat while he was in the water. So he must be swimming. A boat might have hit him. Had an extensive surgery, still have an I always notice these articles very importantly. These articles are very important. Articles are very important because an word means now if I say still having an, uh, an infection. Yeah, still having an wound. So wound, can, wound word cannot come. Because with an word, wound does not go, but infection can come. If I say still have scar, scar means after any, uh, you know, operation, there is a scar on the body and you all are nurses and doctors, but even scar word cannot come in. So that is why it is very important to notice these words. Otherwise, normally still having a scar had full thickness appears very good, but scar word because it starts with S. So it cannot come with N after N. Only the words they call it they call it vowels a e i o u these can come. There is more rules to it, but again I don't want to make you scared at the moment because there is nothing to get scared. But yeah, the rule is of vowel sound, but we will discuss that later. But what I am teaching you right now always note the articles. <coughs> Second important change is to note. After the article, second important change is to note uh, prepositions. What are prepositions like? If I talk about these brands, there is one preposition over here, own. There is one preposition over here, for. So what are prepositions? Own, in, like this, with, is a preposition. So these should be very carefully noted, like this, with. I hope it is all visible to you. So these are the things you notice in your exam. It's very important. And also you should make a story. I'm making a story that this person, Brian Harris, still had a dash, had a full thickness dash, 
close to the defect in his posterior thigh. So that posterior means left posterior thigh, he had an injury. <coughs> in several areas, graft site, so there was a grafting that was done. There are cyper, several hypergranulation tissue developed, no bleeding. So now he is having hypergranulation. Past medical history, he will talk about some history. He will talk about some medication. If you will see the medication, you can see the word Cipro. And being the medical professional, again, that is why I see, I say, only doctors and maximum nurses can teach you OET. Non-medical professionals cannot. Like this Cipro word we know, it is Ciprofloxacin, 90%. Ciprofloxacin is, is an antibiotic, but the name is half given. If this Ciprofloxacin is an antibiotic, by chance, if I'm thinking right, I'm not quite sure, but I'm, I'm expecting. That is what I do in first 30 to 60 seconds. It's I'm teaching you, that's why I'm taking time. Otherwise, I notice these words and thickness dash, medical history. Cipro is a antibiotic, so there must be some kind of infection. That's what I feel. So I start expecting some kind of medical history in terms of infection. Cipro and Dash. So must have given some NSAIDs. Most of the times antibiotics go with NSAIDs. You know that. Non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs like paracetamol. So you can expect these kind of things. But let's see what will happen. But what I'm saying is being nurses and doctors, we want to be ready for these things. That is the only point I'm saying by these things. Then uh, uh, you guys have important words to be noted. Again, make a story. So there is a person, uh, there is a person who had an infection and uh, <coughs> so that person had an infection and on the top of it, uh, not infection, hypergranulation, he had, a, he had an injury. There was grafting that was done. After the grafting, uh, he came in with hypergranulation. Then he's still having an dash. Past medical.